I'm Adi. And let me just tell you straight off the bat that I'm no ordinary 16 year old. I'm Ham. What's that you ask? Well, Ham, or rather amateur radio operator, is a community which uses radio receivers and transmitters to communicate with each other. You can talk to any person anywhere in this world. Any more check-ins, call VU2JOS. VU2JOS, this is VU2ADI. Calling and standby. Good morning, Adi. Your report is 59 plus, loud and clear. Bright and sunny morning here. Anything for the net plan? The reason why I'm so psyched is because I made a friend while using my uncle's ham setup. Really great person to talk to. But because of the stupid pact we made, I didn't have his phone number, I didn't have his email address, I didn't even know his name. All I had was his call sign. More on that later. V2 Javers, this is V2 ADI. Good morning, Javers. Thanks for 59. You're also 59 as usual. I am looking for V2 XYZ else QRU. 73 bye bye. V2 Javers, this is V2 ADI. He has not checked in the net. Please stand by. Any more check ins for the day? Please call V2 Javers. Well, that blows. But luckily for me, I've got all the time in the world. Adi, Sumita, help for school. Ah! One of the major aspects of ham radio is its use in emergency and other volunteer services. Earthquakes, landslides, hailstorms, whatever it may be, when the normal communication fails, ham radios are ready to stop. Calling VU2DRJ, VU2DRJ. Go ahead, Ravi, this is Dr. James, what the status of the patient? Sir, no visible injuries and the patient is unconscious. The closest available here is Hyderabad Nursing Home, rest the patient there. Roger that, sir. Hams have been effectively used at the times of tsunami in Japan, cyclones in Odisha, earthquakes in Gujarat and the floods in Kedarnath and many other crisis situations across the world. It is very much important to set up a communication with the outside world within an hour. And believe me, sometimes this is the only form of communication. <laughs> Move, move, move! Jarani, Jarana ka Jarani! It's crazy how sometimes the simple things matter a lot. <sighs> Another day in the office, man. Hey Ravi, jaldi aare. Sir, aro. Hi everyone. My name is Ram Mohan, call sign VO2MYH. I am the director of National Institute of Amateur Radio. We at the National Institute of Amateur Radio train people to become uh, licensed amateur radio operators and also help them learn various techniques of voice, data, image and satellite communications through amateur radio. We also conduct awareness programs, de-expeditions and also participate in contests to prove their skills in the art of radio communications. Friends, I would like to introduce myself. I am an irrigation engineer. Retired from government of Andhra Pradesh. My call sign is VU2 Gold Flame GL. And as irrigation engineers, we deal with floods. When I was working in states, when I encountered with the floods, I didn't know about ham radio. Whenever the floods are there, the normal communications are no good. But ham radio communication has helped us very much. And when I was working as the deputy engineer in chief, there was a calamity in Nagar and Saga. Then we had organized a team of hams in Nagarn Sagar Dam and from Hyderabad we were getting minute to minute information and we could feed it to the government where government would comfortably face whatever criticism the people were giving and because of that we could get over a very big calamity and I would advise all the youngsters to become hams. Hi friends, my name is Dr. Fazal Rahman. I am a general practitioner, an anesthetist and also an MHA radio operator. I developed interest in MHA radio when I was 7 years old and used to go to the police headquarters and watch the radio operators, how they are transmitting the messages. And uh, this kind of hobby continued for a long time and when I was working as a medical officer in Australia and Pacific Islands, I helped uh, many patients to be airlifted from, from the villages and towns to the base hospital 
because of just because of the amateur radio. It is a very good experience for me to travel to different countries and participate in, in amateur radio programs. Mm -hmm. I would suggest all the young generation to join this amateur radio and uh, make it a grand success because it's going to definitely change their life. Talking on the phone, texting on my BB, checking out cute guys on Facebook. Well, sure, I like these things, but I like the ham radio so much more. I don't know, something about the way it harks back to the good old days when people used to actually talk in order to communicate. There's something so intangible and exciting about the ham radio. It makes me feel like I'm a part of something, you know. Oh yeah, and we're not reliant on electricity. When everything else stops working, we still got the ham radio. Oh that? Well, not to brag, but you should know that I was somewhat of a whiz kid at the age of 16. And those are just some of the prizes I've won over the years. So cool, right? I mean, where does a 16 year old ever get such an opportunity? So every ham has his own unique call sign, like mine's wu 2 tan You won't believe the kind of interesting people I meet through the ham. Like Roderick, he's a crocodile wrangler in Africa. I know, gross right? Or Claudia, she's a fortune cookie writer in Seattle. She comes up with the funniest of things. Okay guys, I'd love to go on, but Josh is waiting. He's a financial analyst part-time surfer and he's single. Oh no way, no way Sean. You guys will never make 300. Trust me on that. <laughs> you must be joking mate. Hey, hey Sean, Sean, hold on, hold on a sec. That's Sean. He's a crazy Aussie I met in Tanzania in one of my de-expeditions. Oh, what's that you ask? Oh uh, well, it's a competition where the winners are taken to remote locations, exotic locations like Andaman, Lakshadweep, Madagascar and so on where we have to set up an equipment within a short time frame and make as many contacts as possible with people throughout the world and definitely the person who makes the maximum number of contacts is awarded. Now the best part about the new age hams is that we aren't restricted to one place anymore. No more of those huge equipments, nor those messy wires. And you see I have the small setup in my car. Since then, my commute back home in the evenings, I just breeze through. This is 100% free, which means I can have these really long conversations without worrying about my phone bills at the end of the month, which make me want to break my fixed deposits. You know, it's truly a great feeling when you have a mode of communication that does not burn a hole in your pocket. My name is Sanjay Nekanti. I'm a spacecraft engineer by profession and amateur radio is my hobby. The student build uh, satellites are called uh, amateur radio satellites and uh, they are called so because they carry on board uh, amateur radio transponder. The whole idea of having an amateur radio transponder on board a satellite is that even normal people can use that satellite as a platform to communicate with different people around the world. In the present day, as an entrepreneur, as a co-founder of Dhruva Space, I work with National Institute of Amateur Radio to encourage youth to use amateur radio as a platform and realize their space missions. Hello everyone, my name is Bhanumati. My call sign is uh, VU to Bravo Lima. I am associated with this amateur radio activity right from 1973. And I have participated in many of the relief operations during uh, emergency. I have worked in many de-expeditions. I wish all of you should become amateur radio operators and help the nation as you can do. My name is Tom, studying in 10th standard from Rock Memorial High School, Kartabad. My call sign is Victor Uniform 3 Tango Mike Oscar. 
I was 13 years old when I got my license. I grew up watching amateur radio by my parents and naturally became interested in it. I attended amateur radio classes in National Institute of Amateur Radio and I was happy to get my license after waiting for one year. I got awards from USA, Poland, Europe, Germany, Japan and from Chennai. Harish, Harish, where are you, da? Come here, hey, quick. Yara, what the... <laughs> Dude, just wait and watch this. Watch it. Dude, is your camera on? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Mine's on too. This is so awesome. Now, this is a game that we hands like to play every once in a while. It's called the fox hunt. It helps us be better athletes that sharpens the body and the mind. I mean, how is that even possible? Dude, I'm okay. let's go. I'm okay. We're getting late. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the All India Fox in 2013 finale. My name is Hari, V-U-2-H-A-R, and I'll be your fox. In this year's edition, we have four teams Hi. from different cities that have made it to the finale. Now, we have a transmitter which looks exactly like this, hidden somewhere here in the forest. The first team to locate and retrieve this transmitter will be declared as a winner. This is Remember exactly like chore police, man. You will be allowed to use your respective ham instruments and the provided maps. So, are you guys ready? Yes. yes. I said, are you guys ready? Yes! Come on. Your time starts now. How long is this going to take? Dude, Harish, get over here. The signal is getting stronger. I think it's coming from over there. It's getting really loud. Ah, you disgust me. It's all the talk about ham, dude. You can hear it? Dude, Jesus you must be getting closer. Follow my lead. The fox. Ah. I am the fox. There, look. Where? Look. Under the branch. There, look at him. The National Institute of Amateur Radio was established in the year 1983 by late Mr. Rajiv Gandhi and with the support of Government of India and Government of Andhra Pradesh. The primary objective of this institution is to develop amateur radio activities all over the country. Here at this technical wing, licensed radio amateurs are encouraged to make their own home-made transmitters and receivers. And those who would like to become radio amateurs, they will be trained with the two subjects, elementary knowledge of electronics and communication procedures. Once they are through the examination conducted by the government of India, they get the license. Amateur radio is friendly, scientific, fun-loving and high-tech activity. Amateur radio technologies have great potential for this country. Hi, Jos. Whom are you communicating with? I'm uh, talking to Frank uh, TL4 KQ. DL4 KQ. Hi Frank, this is view to MY Suri. What is the view like over there? View to MY Suri, this is DL4 KQ Frank. Uh, I just want to say the view here is spectacular. You just have to see it for yourself. A big hi to everyone down there and hope to see you guys shortly. VL4MY, this is DL4KQ. Hello, sir.